Hey guys, it's 321 Welcome back to more Dragon Age 2. In the last episode, we um, d we f rescued Nathaniel from a Awakening, and we um, and we helped Fenris with his companion mission. In this episode, you there? Did my love send you? Will you take me to him? I come at your father's request. You expected someone else. Fainriel, the man of my dreams. These brutes intended to take my maidenhood. As they argued about who would go first, I fainted. Then Fainriel spoke to me in a vision and told me not to fear. When I awoke, the men had slain one another. Please take me to Fainriel. I want to thank him properly. I'm sorry, but I have no way to locate him. Hey, what did you do to my men? I'll kill you till you're good and dead. Idiot, your men killed each other. So yeah, Fainreel saved this woman. I think. Ooh, health potions, nice. The walk will tire me, and we'll be reunited in my dreams. Fenriel, my love, I'm coming. That was an odd quest. Let's just uh, go to Low Town and do Gamlin's little quest. Loading, loading. Here we go. How do we end up here? Well, let's get to Gamlin's house. You're too quiet, Varric. I kinda wonder what happened to Gamlin um, during the Kunari invasion. Found the gem of Karashek. If you want it, come to Darktown alone. Uh, Gamlin? Gamlin? There are things in my life that don't actually involve you, you know. Stay out of my business, boy. That note mentioned the gem of Karashek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. If you're worried about who sent the note, I can go in your place. Did I ask for that? I don't know who sent it, and I don't want to. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Sheesh. Someone needs anger in management class. How are you at finales, Varric? I'm expecting some practical experience fairly soon. 
Make it a good one, will you? For you, madam, endless sunsets and roses. Very. And the swift hand of the law sweeping all aside. All right, let's head uh, to Darktown. Gosh darn it! Sorry, sorry guys. Um, uh, um, I've been watching One Piece recently, and I've got this song stuck in my head. <laughs> ah, darn it! It's so catchy. Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Kereshek? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. I think you have me mistaken for someone else. I don't know you. You don't got to know me. You just got to listen. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kereshek thing the note talks about... We decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. Afraid we don't have it, idiot. We brought them down relatively fast. The wallop mag mallet? Isn't there a mallet hanging on the wall in Gamlin's house? Yeah, there is, isn't there? Let's go check it out. <laughs> ah, gosh darn it. You've been glowering for days. That song Your is so catchy. My face is the least of my concerns right now. That's because you don't have to look at it. If you could see it from this angle, Blondie, it'd be at least a close second on your priority list. Let's see what Gamlin knows about this wallop mad mallet. What do you want now? I found this note on a thug who attacked me. It mentions your wallop mallet. <laughs> I haven't played wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. Huh. Weird. Okay, we just look at the mallet and we leave.
And now we head to the alien edge. So, the night commander. Boiling in oil? That one never gets old. This is past time for joking. I'm helping you indulge in elaborate revenge fantasies. I think the tree that Malik was made from is here in the Meredith alien edge. Meredith will die. Do not doubt that. Oh, go away, Justice. Can Anders come out and play? Stop. You are no fun anymore. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Well, we found the tree the wallop mallet's made from. Now what? Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. Did someone ask you to give this to me? I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. I think I know where that warehouse is. Warehouse, huh? Champion? It's Leah. Do you remember me? You saved me from that murderer when I was a kid. Sorry, Captain. I don't mean to. Not at all. Go on. I wanted to say thank you. I wasn't thinking straight the day you saved me. That monster deserved what he got. Captain? Dismissed. She joined the guard a few months back. She's got a good understanding of what we're up against. I didn't expect that cutscene to happen. Honestly, I don't remember that little elven girl. Alright, let's head on in and head on out. Docks at night, huh? I find this um, statue kind of weird. It's interesting, but it looks nothing like me. Well, th yeah, that ch statue's supposed to be of the champion of Kirkwall. Got it built pretty fast. Although the the helmet covers the face, I what uh, I wasn't wearing that armor that that particular time, and my sword is a giant flame. Look at me, I'm, I'm looking at a statue while I'm fighting. Multitasker is extraordinaire. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, let's uh find that warehouse. Oh, it's over here. You remember that Kunari Swords quest? Just die. Die. Remember, remember the Kunari so swords um, side quest? Um, one of the swords is in that chest right, in, right over there. Die. 
that all of them? Nope. All right, the chest is a master rank lock, so that's why I leveled up Varric so much. All right, we've got one Kunari sword. Hmm. We're searching a warehouse full of dead fish for one lousy crate. It's not that one. I think it's up here. This it? Nope. This it? Looks like we found the crates. Something seems off. It's a trap. Die, all of you. See what this guy has. A note for Gamlin. So they were to capture Gamlin and take him to the caverns. Sounds like the opening of a bad romance story. <laughs> it's time to end this charade. <laughs> An opening to a bad romance story. What? <laughs> oh wow. Alright, let's head over to the caverns and see what's going on here. Do 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 just walking right through do 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 do, do, do. walking right through the sink.
What the corpses? Really? What is there blood magic going on here? What spiders do? No, nothing that way. Hmm. Let's try this way. Oh, we can get through this way. I think. So, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You have a cousin? I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? <laughs> my brother. Mecho was my brother. And you killed him. That doesn't make sense. Mecho was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem charade. Hand it over. I won't let Mecho's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem. You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. You are made of stupid. Let's kill him quickly. Come on, just die, just die. Alright, now he's down, let's take out the rest of his guys. Or whatever. And there are quite a few of them. Sorry, Evelyn, I took your kill. And crap, they're sitting in the bars. More, you guys, really? I wonder if I could send- oh yeah, I can summon my Mabari. Go get him, boy! I know you can do better than that. I guess you're the last guy. Yes, he is. You're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. Gamlin never told me he had a daughter. There's probably a lot of things he hasn't told you. My mother, Mara. She left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. 
I didn't even know about him. You told Vel you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. You set this whole thing up just so you could meet your father? I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. I wouldn't throw away the chance if I were you. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. Berg, you got taken down? Really? The Whaler. Wow. It's an odd name. Anyway, let's head back to Gamlin's house. Too bad we can't just... I shoot him at night. Darn it. Easy. I think. Oh, I can still go to Gamlin's house. Huh. Didn't think I could at night, and. More you people! Finally, they're all dead. Always remember where you started, Hawk. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <sighs> Stay dead already. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have, well, I don't know, gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you, and I didn't even know who you were. 
I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but if it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. She looks nothing like you. Thank the maker for small miracles, hmm? <laughs> really? I... Hey. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time, stay out of my damn business, boy. <laughs> I get in your business whenever I want, old man. Anyway, let's get out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here, guys. Alright? Next time on Dragon Age 2, we're going to head over to the Bone Pit and do Mine Massacre. Just relax, just relax. Deep breaths, deep breaths. See you guys later.